Greetings, Benjamin J from Ben's Trains with another in the series. Well, I want to do a quick video on these uh, E10 sockets that I ordered. These things arrived yesterday. I ordered these things weeks ago. And uh, they're the same base, of course, as the bulbs for the uh, bulbs for the locomotives. And these are the bulbs that I've been using in the lighted tin litho cars. Anyway, rather than just soldering wire to the bulbs, I wanted some sockets. So went online and found these. E10 base sockets. Uh, they're really inexpensive. They're about 30 cents a piece, something like that. And I ordered six of them. And uh, like I said, they just got here. And uh, the very first thing I did was mount one in this uh, spotlight tower that I've built. Now, this is an old Marx tower. It was missing the lights, of course. And it came in a box of junk. And so I just ran a wire up the back of it, a piece of zip cord and took a reflector out of a flashlight that I found at the thrift store. And I took the flashlight, removed the reflector, ground a flat on it so it sits absolutely solid rigidly on top of that uh, tower, and then used a piece of plastic. Uh, this is actually a, a part off an old toy. Uh, it was a ramp for a truck. And uh, epoxied this all together, took one of the sockets, mounted it directly in the back, and this thing came out really, really robust. It is really, really solid. Anyway, I'm just going to do a quick test. I've got that socket mounted in there. So now you can just screw a light bulb directly into it, and you have an instant working floodlight. So let me turn the power on. And there we have a light that is just absolutely incredibly bright. And it actually, in the dark, it actually lights up the uh, layout table itself. Now, this thing is as bright as sunlight coming in the window. In fact, if you notice, it looks like sunlight. It is really bright. It's too bright to even look at. So, anyway, you can turn the voltage down, of course, which is what I'm going to do. But uh, just wanted to do a quick test. Let me turn this down. That's better. And, uh, like I said, threw this together out of junk. Just an old reflector out of a flashlight from the thrift store. Mounted directly on top of this old Marx uh, tower. So it works. It's incredibly bright. Costs nothing to make it. Literally nothing to make it. Made entirely out of junk. And uh, just epoxied one of those sockets directly in the back. Soldered a piece of uh, zip cord to it. And attached it to an old transformer. <coughs> Excuse me. Anyway, just wanted to do a quick video on this. Now I'm going to be using these sockets, of course for the lighted tin litho cars. That way I don't have to solder to the uh, light bulbs themselves. I can just mount the sockets, and then from then on, all the uh, lighted tin litho cars, you just screw the bulbs in and out, which is a great time saver. It makes it look uh, much more professional. It's a lot easier to use. No must, no fuss. And once these things are mounted, of course, uh, they're permanent. And there's two connectors on them, ground and... Uh, the center post, of course, goes to the bottom of the bulb. So really, really simple. They're really inexpensive. In this case, it took like three weeks to get them. I had to order them from China. I ordered six of them. I've got one on the bench and uh, getting ready to put that on one of the cars. The other four, I just wanted to do a quick video so you could see them. It's a real time saver, and uh, it's really convenient. You can also use these to replace a uh, bad socket in a bulb, or in a bulb, in a uh, locomotive. If you have a uh, locomotive that uh, has a destroyed socket on the front of the motor, it'd be really easy to transplant one of these things. Anyway, I just wanted to do a quick video on this. Really simple way to uh, make something out of nothing. In this case, an old Marx uh, light tower that was missing all the lights, of course, which is why it was in the box of parts. So I just ran a piece of zip cord, an old reflector out of an old flashlight, mounted one of those sockets in the back of it, and epoxied it in place, Screw the bulb in, and I have a giant spotlight for use on the layout. So, turn this off. Anyway, it's really simple. The bulb just screws in and out. It's really convenient. It's really easy to do this. Really straightforward. And uh, this actually came out quite good. This thing is really, really robust. It is really solid, as you can see. Anyway, a simple way to uh, modify junk into a usable uh, spotlight for your layout. It's far from perfect, but it's up and running and it is uh, exponentially brighter than the uh, original Mark Spotlight. Now there was actually four of them when it came from the factory. Like I said, when I got it, there was no lights on it at all. 
So I didn't know whether I was going to use it as a beacon or if I was going to use it for a uh, dirigible mooring mast. No idea. So anyway, when I uh, found this uh, reflector out of this uh, old flashlight from the thrift store, I figured this would be a really good way to put this to use. It's simple. It's really bright. Costs nothing. And best of all, of course, is the fact that it works. Like I said, don't overlook the junk. Just because something's junk when you get it, doesn't mean it's going to be junk when you're finished with it. So a really, really simple way to uh, build a uh, floodlight, spotlight, whatever you want to call it for your layout that doesn't cost anything at all. And like I said, it was a great way to make use of one of these sockets, which is one of the uh, reasons I bought them, uh, other than the fact I'm going to use them on the lighted tin litho cars. But they're inexpensive. The best of all, they're E10 base, so they work with the bulb that fits the uh, locomotive. So, just wanted to do a quick video. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to drop me an email. Ben's Trains at gmail.com. And as always, thank you for watching.